The concept that we're going to be looking at at this moment is the concept of the golf swing being a swinging motion in the backswing and then a hitting motion in the downswing. Now to explain that a little more clearly from the setup, if I make the correct start to the backswing, there's a lot of energy transferred to the club head and this swinging club head is what affects the backswing and winds up the wrists, the arms and the shoulders. So we create this swinging motion right from the start by the correct takeaway where the handle moves away first, not the club head. So there's a lot of energy placed right into that club head. Now I don't do this at home but I just want to show this to you so you can see how much energy there is. Just a little forward press and takeaway and that club can just swing back. That, that swinging motion is what's going to swing your arms and your shoulders and make the wrists hinge properly and wind up that backswing. So that once you've got that swinging motion going back, the downswing is just your intention to hit that golf ball. So you're going to be throwing this club head directly down at the ball. And to do that, the club shaft must move in line with the left arm. So what I'm doing here, in a practice swing, I go down the grip, a swinging motion going back, and then a hitting motion coming down. It's a real intention to hit that ball. Swinging back, throwing down. And you can really feel the whip and hear the whip at the bottom. Let me demonstrate with a shot. It's a swing and a hit. And away it goes. So good golf, you're employing the swinging motion and the hitting action in the one shot.